Hi guys and welcome to the Oddspedia channel. It's time to learn a little bit more about another popular betting market you can use to get really good money. Correct score market. I will tell you how to bet on the correct score market, some strategies, how to get the best odds and of course the meaning of it in case you don't know it yet. Everything now. Let's begin explaining what the correct market is. Here we are trying to guess the exact score in a given game. As you can imagine, most of the time bookmakers offer you more than 50 different combinations, so the probability of getting this right is quite low. On the positive side, the odds will be very high for this kind of market. If we are talking about a football game, you can bet on the correct score market in 90 minutes. Remember that the extra time or penalty shootout don't count for this market. Or you can also bet in the correct score for the first half or the correct score for the second half. Most of the times we refer to the correct score market when we talk about football. But you can also bet on the correct number of sets while betting on tennis or in volleyball, for instance. You, so you can also use this very same market in other sports rather than football. Let's see now how to get the best odds for the correct score market. So let's visit the Oddspedia website and we are going to choose the final of the Euros as an example. Italy versus England. We go to the correct score market and we have a tool here where we can choose the goals. For instance, if we bet on the 0-0 correct score, we get odds of 8.0. If we bet on the 1-0 for Italy, we also get 8.0. But for the 2-0, we get 14.50. So you will also see how the book is changed depending on who is offering you the highest odds, of course. You can play around with the tool, finding your correct score and seeing the highest odds for that one. This is for the full time, so in the 90 minutes, but you can also bet on the correct score for the first half or for the second half. For instance, a goalless draw in the first half pays 2.40 whereas a goalless draw in the second half pays more, 3.25. We just saw an example of a football game, but as I mentioned before, you can also use the correct score market for other sports, like tennis. Let's see a tennis game. In this case, Wimbledon semi-finals between Ashley Barty and Angelique Kerber. Our tool directly shows us the odds for two sets nil for Kerber with odds 5.50. 2-1 for the German pays even more, 7.0. But also we can check how much we get for Barty's victory, both 2-0 or 2-1. Depending on the booking, sometimes you can also see correct score plus goal scorer, giving you really, really high odds, or both correct scores at halftime and full time again with really good payouts. Also, sometimes, and depending on the bookie, you can bet on several correct scores within a game. For instance, you can bet that the game will finish 0-0 or 1-0 or 0-1. Here the odds will be lower, but of course we will have more chances to win. There are many good options for this popular betting market. I really recommend it to you. However, before using it, you need to think about the following. It's very tempting to bet on this market with these really high returns. However, getting the exact score in a football game is really difficult. Most of the times, you won't win your bet, so it's advisable to use low stakes here and be aware of not wasting your bankroll. Don't combine these types of betting. Since it's so difficult to get it right, you shouldn't use it in accumulator bets. When going for this market, it's easier to be right if you go for the goalless draw or one nil scores. The higher the score, the more difficult it's to be right. This is kind of obvious checking the odds, but it's worth pointing it out. Check the 
the stats. There are teams getting very often goalless draws or victories for a short margin, scoring one goal, for instance, and defending their result the whole game. These are the easiest way to win your bet. Offensive teams are really difficult to predict in the correct score market, and you might want to check others. Here, for instance, the over or under goals market is a good one. Now you've learned a little bit more about a very popular betting market and one with really big returns. I hope this video was helpful for you and you enjoyed it. So please don't forget, of course, to click on the like button, subscribe and click on the bell to get all the notifications. Thanks for watching and see you very soon.